Yeah, I, I saw this new article from the New York Post that says Gen Z is paralyzed with fear of turning 30, becoming unattractive hags. No nope. quote, life might as well end at 22. And they showed this TikTok from a woman who is 29 years old. And she said, the fear of turning 30 is getting to me. I have no kids. I feel like I'm running out of time. I still don't have my life figured out and I'm missing something. Um, I feel like this is a more uniquely a woman's issue. I was gonna say. Sure, yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I'm just but... like, maybe like, cause I'm, I'm, I'll be coming up on 40 here in a couple of years. Right, you're just, you're just getting started, buddy. But even mm -hmm. then it's like, eh. You don't feel anything right. about 40. I'm, I'm pretty emotionally dead inside to those types of things. Well, I mean, so pretty I mean, besides that Ferrari that he bought in, you know, <laughs> yes, in a, in a pit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, plastic, pretty chill. Surgery, plastic surgery is how people do their midlife crisis now. And I'm not doing that. Well, just get like your elbows redone or something. You know? <laughs> I am seeing people in their 30s talk about having a quarter life crisis, and I'm like, you're not going to live to 90. <laughs> but my, um, maybe get my, like, I'll get my earlobes attached rather than. No, detached. no, get them reattached to the top. Do well, top let's lobes. Go. Yes. Let's go. I was confused by LASIK. this, though. I'm LASIK, maybe. Yeah, actually, maybe the, that'll be my That's this not even a crisis, is, though. That's like a good decision. This honestly. chick is 29, so she's a millennial. This does not mm. apply to her. Gen Z must be like afraid of turning 30 for different reasons. They're just trying to blame us because Gen Z is always the problem. Yep. I don't know. I think um, Gen Z doesn't even know why they're afraid of the future because they're like, oh, but the climate crisis yeah, or Gen whatever. Gen Z barely has a concept of Fake years. Fake ass reason to be afraid of the future. <laughs> um, I understand like financial worries. Yeah. But that's not age specific. I, I don't know. Yeah, this seems like, I don't this know. This is all about looks to them. I'm right, Gen Z like, and I'm in that, yeah, like I, I'm 25. So a lot of my peers I grew up with were at that age where 30 is definitely like it's, it's, it's coming up, right? We can see it, but no one's freaking out. And if they are, they're keeping it to themselves. But again, I think what you said is the most true, Brett. This might just be a guy versus woman thing because it's just very different. You know, they always say girls, you know, women mature faster than guys. Guys take a while or at least take longer, so. Jeez, this is dark. Know. Gen Z, vast majority women express a desire to unalive in their 30s or when they reach 40 uh -oh. because oh they cannot handle the fact that they will age and become unattractive. Oh, so they're afraid of being ugly. But it's literally is, all about This has got to be single people. This has got to be because no one with an actual, I can't imagine someone with a family with children and a loving spouse yeah. mm -hmm. is actually going to feel this way. These are unfulfilled people that were lied to by, you know, replacing true good values with uh, TikTok, drugs, partying, plastic surgery. Plastic surgery well, Mary tells me that Tinder. Gen Z is not partying or doing drugs. They are. 100%. Uh, Gen Z is drinking less because they socialize less and obviously partying less because they socialize less. But they less. still do it. They. I figured the internet's just making everyone no, depressed. No, they it, like the statistics yeah. show that they are meaning. I've never been asked in, in a poll about like <laughs> drinking or drugs or anything like that. Okay, so when, I know who's wait, winning. Here's one question: okay. When did you get your license? Like originally? Yeah, your driver's license. When I was like 16. What year? That's not the norm for Gen Z. Really? Yeah, past like 18 and a half is the average for but Gen does, Z. Is this you're probably of saying this because you're a, one of the elder Zoomers who uh, yeah. doesn't relate to the it's younger Zoomers' problems. Yeah. They yeah. don't crave independence and a lot of them just want to opt out of reality, mm. which is really sad. This is why we were talking about the shifting trend. Yeah. Like it's just a different brand of like wanting to commit suicide is I want to mentally shift myself into a different dimension. What age range would you say that is then? If it's not like all of Gen Z? Because, Kellen, you're what, 25? 25. 25. It's got to be, like, the ones born after, like, 2003 I think it's the, four. well, you know, where right? are you most likely to be polled if you're this age? Probably a college campus, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, And when modern-day college campuses are the ones pushing the idea that you need to be single, have a mm -hmm. career first before you meet anybody, do all these things, all these selfish things, right? And so it's, like, it kind of makes sense if, you know, if you're, the people you're asking is already skewed one way than the results are going to be too. And right. college campuses are notoriously depressed and they don't have a good outlook on life because mm -hmm. it sucks, Yeah, you know, but I don't see like, I, you know, I, this article just keep, keeps reminding me of friends 
there's like a, one or two episodes maybe more than that where the, all the characters are reaching 30 and joey specifically is like why god why we had a deal we had a deal right because he's turning 30 and he's freaking out and you know what show is very popular among gen z friends is it oh yeah I that's oh, like a millennial yeah. show it's like come back a little it's bit it's definitely I think. come back yeah. and so that's what i'm saying this sounds yes. like they're just ripping off an episode from friends yeah like, that's what it sounds like to me like it, this is something i never would have thought about if it wasn't for the internet and people asking me like we I, should just pull all the uh, gen z I'm, people I'm at the castle i'm compelled by the argument about not having families i, I think that that's a very real which is it? Well, yeah. the chick in the, in the TikTok, she's 29 too, and she's afraid because she, not because she's afraid of turning 30, she's afraid of turning 30 without reaching certain basic milestones in life. Right. When but I'll, you, well, she's going to complain looking, instead okay. of getting on it. Let's like, look at this chick. She's got ginormous fake breasts, yeah. fake oh, lips, oh. tattoos, too much makeup, fake, you know, blonde hair, face yeah. filter. Is this really like uh, the average it's person? It's regret. That's what she is. She's right. seen all these mistakes that she's made, and she's like, now that I want to be a regular person, exactly. I can't. Exactly. I've permanently disfigured. Now, and I'm going to apply my own insecurities to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. That's what she's doing. Yeah. And it creates insecurities in other people. She's making a face that looks like her kid just failed a spelling test. But she doesn't have a kid. <laughs> she kind of looks She's like mad um, because she can't be disappointed in her kid. Her non-existent child just failed. She, she kind of looks sad. like the character from a, fi uh, a fish a fish tale. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, she does. She does. She does. Yeah. That's a good yeah. I just observation. Think that if you yeah. if you had a, a family and you have all these things that somebody mentioned earlier, Jordan Peterson talking about you don't have the anchors that you know tether you to the world. Yeah, no Without religion. that, and you have mm -hmm. things going on. On, those are more important to you and, and mean more and matter more and occupy more of your time Absolutely. than worrying about the narcissistic aspects yes. of, of yourself that to yeah. be fair we all have but if you don't have other things to occupy your time you're going to focus on them more heavily right yeah I guess. well I mean yeah. though like let's let's think religion gone right no one's getting married no one's having a family and if they are they're waiting very long uh boy scouts girl scouts gone who's doing that team sports gone every aspect uh, every group every club we've created to socialize has been destroyed and it's like no wonder no wonder everyone's depressed you know it's because mm -hmm. they've got nothing go they're swifties that's their personality and <laughs> i'll tell you she ain't, she's, she's, she's not coming ends. to save you when you turn 30. When her she doesn't know ends, you bro all, like what, there's gonna be like an uptick in suicides when the tour is over <laughs> dude they said if she gets engaged <laughs> so to travis dark. kelsey it's gonna be one of the biggest times in decades for single men because all the swifties who run their life like taylor swift is god mm -hmm. will be like i need to find a man i, I need to find me I a yeah, dumb, big dumb case was it you who said like uh if taylor swift were to have a baby that would cause like a population boom oh yeah it probably as well would. as millennial women losing their laptop jobs mm -hmm. that would be the saddest if they coincided that would like be that. the saddest thing why ever. would why would they lose the laptop jobs well have you seen these women who are losing their jobs at different tech companies and they're filming themselves getting fired are these like the women that you're talking about it's like here's my life in a day or here's my life at twitter it's like first it's 9 a.m i'm going to go to the yeah, wine those bar those girls are getting have, fired okay because we're like they don't do anything because they're not recession. working if there's a, no it's just they're not working they don't do anything if there's a boom does that mean there's going to be a correlating divorce boom when when she leaves him or he leaves her dude i, I still am not convinced it's authentic i'm still not convinced it's, it's authentic mm -hmm. BS. BS. She's dated any, way too yeah. sophisticated of men in her past. She's she has a type. Yeah, but if he, it's very clear she has a type. If he's about to retire, then he's ready to start that stay-at-home dad life. It's perfect. I don't, I don't see it, dude. Have you seen some of his tweets? The we'll guy talk, is we'll thick. We'll talk about it. We'll talk like, about it thick more in the in head. The, we'll talk about it more in the, in he the is kind of dumb. subject. Yeah, I, I just I, I feel really really bad because I think that the I also think social media plays a big role in this and people are kind of you're 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 facing your own mortality a lot on the internet these days because you're constantly putting yourself out there on social media and so you're constantly reevaluating what you're doing with your life because you're ha you're constantly having it compared to those around you whereas that's just not something that a lot of us dealt with when we or at least for my generation dealt with when we we were in our 20s like I, I mean social media was around but it wasn't as big of a thing as it is now and I, I just feel I feel bad I really do believe that a lot of the aging that we because we we did that subject we were talking about why is Gen Z supposedly aging faster than 
uh, previous generations. And I think a lot of that has to do with social media trends making people unbelievably depressed and the constant flow of fear porn and information that they're taking in constantly. Why wouldn't you have a depressing outlook? I'm about to turn 30 and the planet's going to explode because of the climate crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, we could have a, a, an orange Hitler in office again. And there's all these things. And World that War Three. Well, you hear those complaints too, but maybe it is just veiled uh, vanity. Yeah. That they really only are afraid of having to that, um, age and like you know get wrinkles. What's that, so that song? You're so vain. Who sings that one? Oh, what was it? You probably that? think oh, this forget, song is about you. It's anyway, a classic. yeah, it's a classic. We gotta bring that one back. I just um, do you want to watch uh, Joy Behar's rant about how Gen Z needs to get a job? <laughs> no, it's not even worth. It's not even a rant. She says, "Get a job." Get a oh job. That's all she said. Well, I agree with the message. They I have agree jobs. with that part. Play it. They play likely it. have to work two jobs because they're working a regular job and they're probably delivering for Uber. Yeah, they don't Uber sit on the view the... and just talk yeah. crap. Yeah. Not everybody can I get that. I said making sure that you do something for someone every day who can never repay you. This is you the end of the video. Apparently, there are plenty of things happening now to be concerned about, but apparently Generation Z... Those are the folks born between the years 1997 and 2013. They apparently are terrified about turning 30. They are panicked social media threads from 20-somethings worried about losing their stamina, sex appeal, <laughs> value as they age. <laughs> <laughs> These are all like normal things that people thought about. I know. And Forever. There's nothing about that is new to a different. To and here we go again, beating up on and the younger generation. Punching down. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Whoopi is so Other skibbity. Than wrinkles, health issues, and death. <laughs> oh my God. Some blame the internet for stirring up aging phobia. I've got whoopee I'm, phobia. I'm supposed to ask you what I blame <laughs> society for age phobia. I don't blame them when every single thing you see is anti-aging, don't actually look the way that you are. And oh, by the way, we also say we're body positive. No one's actually body positive. Everyone's still <laughs> yeah. trying to be real thin. You're right. <laughs> and finally, this generation, in defense of Gen Z, they're not hitting the milestones the way every that's, generation that's before true. them did. That they're is, owning yeah, homes at a lower rate. This is wild. 45% of people between ages 18 to 29 still live with their parents. Yeah. They feel left oh. behind by the economy, and they also see everybody trying to not age. So oh, that they please, well, they get a job. No, but they <laughs> have a job. No, they have to work yeah, multiple oh jobs. Oh, my God, There's Joy. There's a million jobs or job openings but in this country. So get a job. They but to they've staff. also lived through a pandemic. They've lived through the worst of times. I'm raising two Gen Zers, so I want to just defend them a little bit. I think it's a, a, a little bit less than they're so afraid of getting older. I think they're unsure of the future. This is a I mean, perfect let them eat cake moment. But when you're that age, you don't realize that everybody was unsure about the future. Because I explained that to my children. I was unsure about the future too, but I know my son recently asked me, what is important? Like that's this existential How question. Existential your mother. <laughs> yeah, well, I said family. Uh, I, I, am, I do always wonder if like the the people who are like, well, I lived through mutually assured destruction, so you know, I don't really know if uh, if I buy your your existential crisis. But even then, you weren't you weren't fed the fear porn that the kids of today are. Well, dude, it joy like. Oh, this pissed me off because Joy Behar is the perfect example yeah, of living in the castle and saying, let them eat cake. Mm -hmm. What? They're starving. Just give them cake. Mm -hmm. No, no, they have jobs, right? And I get it. No one's saying that the people that aren't working, that are lazy and truly not doing anything, deserve to have anything. No one's arguing or advocating for that except for commies, okay? But what Joy Behar does is she cannot, she must have such a shield thanks to all of her wealth. She can't understand that even if you work 60 hours a week, it's yeah. you can barely afford to a, a, a rent a place by yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, it's, it's a, so many different issues have gotten us to this and point. And no one who's college educated wants to get a job that is actually available yeah. in this right. age. Well, it's a, a, the, they got lied to. They've they spent how much money and time and now they can't get a decent paying job. There's right. a 20 dollar one here from Gordon Shumway it says the laptop jobs people will lose uh, the laptop jobs people will lose could possibly be the jobs that will go away when venture capital dries up. It's kind of already happening. HR departments and other similar departments will be trimmed. Yeah, you think of all the tech companies that have trimmed jobs, all of the the missing link media companies that have gone under oh, or man. at least uh, been subsidized and then well AI too. Yeah. Not to be doom and gloom, but mm -hmm. You know, we're on the road again in Iowa, 
And uh, apparently, you know, for one of our Instagram clips, it was made entirely using AI. AI scanned the video, Whoa. found a really good moment, took the clip up, and all we had to do, all the humans had to do was upload it. And I'm like, oh God, they're, com they're coming for my job. Yep. AI. So it's like, there's so Maybe many different things happening right now. talk back to you less right than now. Kellen does. It sounds perfect. <laughs> Dude, I know. I don't, I, it doesn't talk over people like oh, I do. It's going to be great. You know? I don't, it doesn't break chairs like Brett does. Exactly. We're yeah. all imminently replaceable. But no, seriously, like, it's so many kick different. kick people like Mary? Yeah. Issues. Less of a violent streak, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you, you and uh, Sarah's per Mia Sarah's fine. should see Sarah, who gets Sarah, harder as you run by. But yeah, it's so many different issues. I mean, and everyone knows it's not even a debated statistic now that wages have gone up significantly, significantly less than the cost of housing. Yeah, you know, and the cost of living for that matter. There's a twenty dollar one here from the Undertaker. It says punching down on the younger generation only bothers the weak. You're young. The world and the future are yours. If you can't take a little abuse, you're really going to be <laughs> in your sobbing girl era in your 40s, Kellen. Sure, challenge. sure, sure. But we're still in the ring. We're still fighting, right? Mm -hmm. So no one, no one's given up here. Um, but what you're seeing is a lot of people that don't have a platform. You're seeing a lot of people that don't have anyone to talk to or are too scared to talk to people. And you're not going to hear from those people. So twenty dollar one here from Disco Jensen says Gen Z, Gen Z should have thought about trade school. Those jobs true, are in demand. True. Pay well, have security, and keep you in uh, and keep the world spinning. No boo hoo hoos for me when the laptop job goes away and they have to fix my coffee for a living. Yes. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah. Well, also they didn't they didn't push those. Like, no, no, no. They, they the, it was the exact opposite. Yeah, they're like, you don't want to do that for the rest of your life. Yeah. Also, they they never even pointed out the fact that at that time they were like, you're gonna work at McDonald's for the rest of your life without mentioning to you that the guy who manages a McDonald's could have made a decent living at that time right. yep. and, and was making okay money uh, and had opportunities to grow within the company or even franchise. Mm -hmm. Every they, adult, they every role model, when I'm, I'm look, thinking back to like middle school, elementary school, real young, when they're talking about what do you want to be when you grow up, right? All of them not only didn't push trade jobs, right? Trade school. They also ridiculed it. And well, they said, like, it. if you have a low SAT score, maybe you want to go to trade school. Right. And yeah. it's just like, you know, the kid, like. They're like, well, you were, you shouldn't have listened to the adults in your life when you were a kid. Like, I know. all kids I know. do that. I love the meme where it's like, damn, I wish I would have bought a house instead of messing around in fourth grade. Right. And it's such a relatable <laughs> meme because it's like, yo, we, we never. bought a house rather than being in the fourth like grade. Like, the people yeah. that are busting their ass right now are barely getting by. I mean, there are some mild, wildly successful people, but even the people that are true go getters are having trouble. I'm not saying it's impossible yeah. to succeed because it's not. I've also but. found that the people that I know that went to trade school or didn't go the traditional college route ended up being the most financially successful because they started their own businesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and most of them learned how to exist in a world without having to be told what their job was and what to do. Whereas most of what I've seen coming out of four year colleges uh, are people that have been trained to do the job that they were, you know, you're, go do this task. Well, uh, right. What about women? Because you're not going to really see them excel in any job that requires physical hard labor. No, they're, but every they're not HR as departments, capable. HR departments. So what do they do instead of going to college? They go to they go to HR departments. You got to go to college <laughs> to get into the HR department. Yeah. I mean, so what do you do? I've, I actually read an article recently that said a lot of jobs are starting to take the four year college requirement off their. Oh yeah. Lists. Oh yeah. Dude, police that department too. Happen. Yeah. And yeah. that's a, I think that that's a good thing. That's a good, um, yeah. not, a not for pilots. Let the, <laughs> let the yeah. pilots finish their training. Well, dude, but I don't know if the lady who runs the HR department needs to be an elitist, you know, but, great, but, but right. Brett, even pilot, like that's a trade. Being a pilot, like you go to a I, specialized I'm, I'm, school. I'm, I'm not talking about necessarily. I'm saying, but they need to go to their. No, they, no. They, what they, I'm saying yeah. is even that job, which is we can all yeah. agree is one of the hardest jobs you can do on this planet is be responsible for 300 people on a giant aircraft right mm -hmm. one of the hardest jobs you can do on this planet and you still have to go to a specialized school you yeah. know so they're not even requiring like you to take an english class or a history class you know thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys